The entire proceedings lasted less than 20 minutes and ended with an emotional Ebony Moore leaving the courtroom and headed for prison. On Wednesday, one month after pleading guilty for causing the death of her baby girl, Ebony Moore returned to court. She told the judge about her success in drug and alcohol rehab programs. I have been doing everything that I can do to make sure that I'm doing right. And pleaded for a second chance. I have a sister that's pregnant at the moment and it's like she really needs me and I just I apologize to the courts for my mistake. Moore admitted that in the days leading up to her baby's death in February 2020, she was drinking and taking drugs. She then got behind the wheel and crashed into a parked car in the Park Duval neighborhood. At some point after the car had come to a stop, she passed out on top of her three-month-old infant and suffocated her to death. Probation for that would be a mere slap on the wrist. It's why prosecutor Sherry Warnell pushed for prison time. Before sentencing, the judge told Moore he couldn't think of a case more tragic than hers. Your daughter lost her life based upon decisions that you made. I'm going to send you to serve six years in the penitentiary. Based on sentencing guidelines, Moore could have spent anywhere from five to ten years behind bars or even gotten probation. So the prosecutor believed this was something for baby Sharvey. I do think that this is a good outcome, but I think it's definitely difficult to say um, that justice was done when a three month old has died. Moore has spent the majority of her time on home incarceration, but for now she's back at Metro Corrections before being transferred to a state prison that is expected to happen in the coming weeks. Reporting downtown tonight, I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News. Our breaking story all around, Lauren, thank you. Now, because the judge denied probation today and instead sentenced Moore to prison time, she could be eligible for shock probation, which means she could be in prison for a short time before the judge could suspend the remainder of the sentence. Moore's attorney tells WOKY at this point she's unsure of her next move.